Hello travel lovers this is the sixth part of our travel vlog Today we are in the Canberra National Zoo and Aquarium Are you all ready for a virtual zoo tour Stay with me till the end of this adventurous video to encounter 50 different land and sea creatures Welcome to Ayat Studio this is Aishwarya Bharat If you are new here subscribe to my channel for new videos every week and click this link to watch other parts of this vlog This is Australia's only combined zoo and aquarium. I am an aquarium lover and so I straight away walked into this and spotted sharks here that are unique. Here is the spiny lobster. These are also called as crayfish in Australia, New Zealand, Ireland and South Africa. They tend to live in rocks and coral reef. This aquarium has colorful marine fishes. They are also called as the saltwater fish. They can swim and live alone or in a large group. These fishes are kept in aquariums for entertainment. Here are the sea anemones. They are named after the anemone, a terrestrial flowering plant because of their colorful appearance. These are the fishes that spend most or all their lives in fresh water such as rivers and lakes with a salinity of less than 1.05 percentage. Look at these frogs, they are predominantly aquatic, but some live on land in burrows or in trees. This place has lizards like green iguana and reptiles like python. One of the most exciting feature of this zoo is the Jamala Wildlife Lodge, the ultimate overnight safari. You will meet many of the most dangerous and endangered species on earth just outside your room. A 15-minute face-to-face encounter with some wild or friendly animal. Or you can just feed giraffes from your treehouse balcony. Dinner is served in the rainforest cave. Make sure you book ahead for this lodge before planning to visit this zoo. You will treasure this experience for lifetime. Stay with me till the end to meet the incredible animals. This is a small New World monkey weighing less than 0.5 kg which lives up to 24 years. The squirrel monkey is an omnivorous animal that eats small animals, plants, fruits and insects. How cute are these small long-tailed South American monkeys? Tree kangaroos have adapted to life in the trees with shorter legs and stronger forelimbs for climbing. Here comes my favorite meerkat. It's a small carnivoran in the mongoose family and are found in the southern Africa. Look, the hyenas are taking a nap. There are two Sri Lankan leopard in the zoo. It is always adventurous to spot a leopard eating its prey, right? This leopard has been listed as endangered on the IUCN red list. Otters are playful, gambling on land and splashing into water. They learn to swim when they are about 2 months old. Here is the national bird of India. Bears are often tamed as a pet when young, but becomes dangerous as an adult. Looks like the sun bear is taking his morning walk. This zoo has rare animals. Mostly I haven't seen them before like these red pandas. They are very skillful and acrobatic animals that predominantly stay in trees. The tiny ones are coming up next. Guess what? Penguins. They are a group of aquatic flightless birds. Here is the king of the jungle. Lions most often roar at night, a sound that can be heard from a distance of 8 kilometers. White rhinos feed on grasses. They have sharp hearing and a keen sense of smell. The cheetahs were taking a brisk walk on the sunny day. I found something strange in the zoo. Unlikely friendship between a cheetah and a dog. They were put together in the same place since they were young ones. See the cheetah Solo is resting under the sun. And where is the dog Zama? Can you find him? Oh here he is sleeping. 
This is a weird friendship, right? The cute koalas are sleeping. The cow-like eland is the world's largest antelope. Both males and females have horns that spiral tightly. It was really good to see these rare animal species in this zoo. Now we are in the fallow deer and alpaca resting area. How majestic are these white lions? When resting, the common gesture of lions is head rubbing. It appears to be a form of greeting and is seen after an animal has been apart from other or after a fight. Isn't this couple cute? Okay, let's see some monkeys now. The ringtail lemur is named due to its long black and white ringtail. It belongs to the island of Madagascar. Wild black and white ruffed lemurs eat fruits up to 92% of their overall diet. The siamang is the largest, darkest and noisiest species of gibbon. Colobus are Africa's most enchanting, playful and aggressive monkeys. Welcome to the territory of tigers. This zoo had an information board about tigers, which are one of the most endangered animals on the planet. The tiger population got reduced by 90% comparing to the past due to several factors like habitat loss, climate change and illegal poaching, and the reason why we need to protect them. Tiger is the biggest living cat. A tiger's roar can be heard at up to 3 km away and they sleep up to 18 hours in a day. Tigers are strong swimmers. They often deliberately bathe in ponds, lakes and rivers. This zoo has a beautiful top view of tigers. Aren't tigers the most exotic and beautiful animals in the world? These graceful black swans are native to Australia. This tall one is the second largest living bird by height native to Australia. We could spot kangaroos and wallabies resting under the tree. We have colourful birds like gala, super parrots, java finch, golden pheasant and many different birds here. Well known for their long necks, these gentle giants are the world's tallest living land animals and they are herbivores, native to Africa. Here comes the world's largest bird, ostrich. Even though it can't fly, they are strong runners found across Africa. Meet the African animal with distinctive black and white striped coats. This zoo had set up dinosaur statues here. This zoo also had animals like elk, one of the largest species within the deer family. We could see Tasmanian devil, a carnivorous marsupial native to Australia and is now found only in Tasmania. Come and meet the wild cat serval, which is native to Africa and it's the world's second fastest cat. Get to see these black bucks, also known as the Indian antelope. Here are the dingoes, largest carnivore in Australia. They are neither dogs nor wolves. Hang on! The zoo tour is still not over. Want to take back home beautiful memories of this zoo? Here is the gift shop near the exit. There are numerous souvenirs available here like home decors, keychains, purse, coffee mugs with animals printed on it, different types of socks and animal soft toys. Buy your favorite one as your travel memory. Stay tuned with this channel for the seventh part of this vlog from the majestic snowy mountains. Subscribe to iArt Studio for more travel vlogs. See you all from Mount Kosciuszko. Bye.